Number 28. Classify each of the following changes as physical or chemical. And then I see that we have A through E. So I'm just going to write out A, B, C, D, and I'll put E at the bottom here. So we talked about what physical and chemical changes were in the last question, question number 27. So if you're on the playlist, you could just hit the back button. But real quick, the difference between physical and chemical changes is that physical changes, I'll put it as PC here, physical changes are changes that do not disrupt the chemical composition of the substance. So what does that mean? Is that in a physical change, you're basically only changing states. So you're either taking the same substance, so for example, water, and you're just changing it from a solid to a liquid to a gas and going backwards. So going from a gas to a liquid to a solid. Also, another physical change is basically when you're, you know, mixing something and there's no change in the substances that you're mixing. So like oil and oil and vinegar dressing, you make a salad dressing, but there's no reaction happening. You're just mixing oil and vinegar. So I'll put that down here. The difference now is that chemical changes, I'll put CC, chemical change, is that this one you are completely changing the composition of the metal or non-metal or substance. Substance. So these are when you burn something in air, when you cook food. So anytime that you cook food, um, you will change the chemical composition of what you cook. If food rots, that's a chemical change. Um, if something goes rancid, like we saw in last example, um, let me think here. Flammability, that kind of goes with burning. Explosions, you kind of get the idea. So with that in mind, let's tackle now A through E to determine whether it's a physical change or a chemical change. Okay, so letter A. Coal is burning. So I see that coal is burning. Burning is a clear chemical change. You're completely turning the coal into something else. So A would be chemical, a chemical change. B, ice is melting. Melting is a phase change. It's one of your phase changes that you should memorize. So melting is going from a solid to a liquid. And they're telling you that it's ice. Ice is just water that is in the solid form. So phase change is any phase change. Changing of states is a physical change. So B is physical. C. Mixing chocolate syrup with milk. And this one kind of seems a little challenging, but think about it. When you mix chocolate syrup with milk, it just turns brown, right? The overall appearance. But does the milk change into a different substance? No, it's still milk, right? It doesn't turn into water or it doesn't turn into like apple juice. That would be kind of crazy. The milk is still milk and the syrup is the, sh the sweetness that it gives the whole drink. So it's still syrup and it's still milk. You're just mixing it around. Did you change the chemical composition? No, you're just mixing. So this one would be a physical change. You're not changing the composition of the milk. You're just mixing it together with syrup. D, explosion of a firecracker. Definitely when you explode something, that's definitely a chemical change, right? There's you change the composition of the firecracker into something completely different. So this would be a chemical change. And then last but not least, magnetizing of a screwdriver. This is, looks like a fancy word, but all this is talking about, magnetizing is just basically changing ions in a certain metal. 
whether that metal is lead or copper or whatever, silver, that's what magnetizing is all about. You're just changing the ions. And ions are just either positive or negative charges. You don't have to worry about that yet. We're only in chapter one. But when you magnetize a metal, and here they're talking about a screwdriver, when you do that, does the screwdriver turn into something completely different? Does it change the chemical composition? No, the metal will not change. All you're doing is you're just reorganizing the ions in the metal, but the overall metal will stay exactly the same. And since that's the case, it's not a chemical change because we still have the same composition, so this would have to be a physical change. Awesome job, guys. This was fun. Hope you guys understand now physical changes and chemical changes. If you do, hit that subscribe button. It would help us out a lot. I will see you all in the next lesson. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.